All right, guys. So this initially was going to be a girls versus food, but I know that New Zealand is going through a bunch of stuff, and we all are. This really stinks. But so I'm able to still, like I said, my job is still open, and trust me, we keep the social distancing here. I still technically have a job, um, and I'm actually coming in before hours uh, before they even open. And cool thing, like I said, so I can clean up and make sure everything's good. And like I said, our house has been quarantined up and whatnot. But you know what? So we were gonna do French toast. But now that's not gonna be girls versus food because they just can't get it. She can't do the quantity challenge right now. There's nothing around. They have nothing available. Um, I had a ton of old bread that I pulled out of the freezer from a long time ago. So I'm like, all right then, let's just do this. So I got three loaves. I've got three loaves of this, white bread. I've got my 18 eggs. I've got milk. We're gonna be using the cinnamon and the nutmeg and vanilla and whatnot. So I'm gonna get this going and yeah. Guys, so got your mix of stuff here. Yeah, all right. We're gonna do this on a full flat top, so I don't have to worry about using a small itty bitty one at home. I'm gonna cook three full loaves of this stuff. I'm not just gonna throw it on here. I will actually coat all the stuff or whatever. And see what we can do and see how many pieces we can come with. I think there's at least uh, there's 22 servings, 22 slices. There should be at least 66 slices in this bad boy. And I plan on filling up that big old pizza pan full of stuff. That guy. So I'm gonna get to cooking this stuff up and then I will see you momentarily. So as of right now, I've been doing this for like half an hour. So I've, I've got like, <laughs> I've got the rest of it on this. I actually needed more eggs. So I ended up using uh, uh, 42 eggs. No, I'm sorry, not 42. 18 plus six is uh, 24. I use 24 eggs and more milk and all that stuff. But yeah, check this out. I've got a full flat top, full of that stuff. I've got this pizza pan. Uh, this is just stupid at this point. I don't even, uh, yeah. And it's gonna get bigger, so. <laughs> About done with here, I'm gonna set up out here. I've got my light syrup, I'm trying to keep down the calories. And uh, we're about to do this mountain. All right, guys. So I got this mountain here. <laughs> this is awesome. So check this out. I've got this massive. It's like a little, it's a UFO made of French toast. It's got, it, it's big, it's pretty massive. So we're gonna do this and get done with because it's getting cold. My face is really big on this camera. Yeah. But yeah, this is the masterpiece. This took, no joke, probably around, oh gosh, probably took me around uh, 45 minutes to make just because the flat top and mixing stuff up and whatever. Um, no. I, I want to get this in before anybody gets here because I don't want to be in this way, so. And I brought my own uh, light syrup. I don't love syrup. It's not delicious, but we have it. I've got water and Diet Coke here in case I need it. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be fine. My timer. Timer. Oh, watch. oh gosh. I can't wait to get this done with just so I can go home at this point. But, fail or prevail, massive French toast. This is awesome. What else can you do when you got nothing else to do? Eat French toast. So, three, two, one. Holy crap, this is awesome. Oh my god. Now it's dry because it's cold. I do love French toast though. This 
just don't actually eat in this quantity. <clears throat>
challenge. And uh, actually, Nell came up with that. But we were going to do girl versus food, but man, like I said, because of her condition, to say what's going on, we uh, are often to find a different direction right now. Oh, excuse me, I have got the heat those. It works, I'm saying. But, but uh, amazing challenge. Okay. Actually, I really do love French toast, so it worked out really well. Uh, grateful for my job. Even though I'm laid off, I'm still able to access the kitchen, which is awesome. My boss is amazing. Thank you, Rick, for letting me use the kitchen and your equipment so I can make stuff like this stuff to do it at home. Totally appreciate So, I'll one job, but not the other. So, it all works out. I've got a great, great bunch of people I work with. You know, they support your local businesses during this time. I know this whole thing going on right now is not cool. But, solidarity. Keep together, help each other out, and everything can stay positive. And if you have people that are kind of down and out about it, you know, be that helping hand for them. Be good, you know. You never know that you walk people's shoes. So, thanks for watching, guys. Like I said, stay strong, get through it. We got this. Keep away social distancing. Social distancing. Doggone it. This is why I'm at my job because there's no one here. Social distancing. <laughs> so, thank you folks once again, and we will catch you next time. Fail or prevail? Did not fail. Kind of fresh toast.